The book of Proverbs talks about the desirability of wisdom. It's through wisdom that your house is built, and it's through wisdom and understanding that there's a firm foundation for that. And it's through wisdom that the Bible says that the rooms of that house, which represents your life, are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. That's God's will for you. We also know from the Bible, not just Proverbs, but elsewhere, that true wisdom comes from God. He created it. It was foundational in his work of creation. And we can tap into wisdom from God. But how do we tap into it? How do we get it? Well, Proverbs gives us an answer for that too. Reading from Proverbs 9, verses 10 through 12, we're told the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For through wisdom your days will be many and years will be added to your life. If you are wise, your wisdom will reward you. So that not only speaks of the desirability, but the access that we have to God's wisdom. And it begins with the fear of the Lord. Now, if you are a believer in Christ, you don't have to be afraid of God. First John tells us that perfect love casts out all fear because fear has to do with punishment. That kind of fear is not what it's talking about there in the book of Proverbs. It's instead talking about a different concept that shares the same word but means something different for us, and that is being in awe of God. He is so wonderful. He is so awesome. If you get a revelation of God and his love for you, his plan for your life, you are on the path toward wisdom. Now, I'm in my 60s now, and I have to say, as David said in one of the Psalms, that my lot has fallen in pleasant places. I have lived a blessed life. And you might say, well, that's wisdom, but that's really the work of God. And if I've ever displayed any wisdom, God gets the credit for it. And it started with a relationship with God that I think really had me in awe of God, in the real fear of the Lord. I was not looking for God. I was not living for God, certainly. And a college classmate offered to pray for me. And she prayed, God, use him as you've called him to be used. And all of a sudden, I had a spiritual revelation and just this awareness that God, the creator of the universe, he loved me and had a plan for, for my life. And he had been working to get me right where he wanted me to be. That was something of the fear of the Lord. And one of the goals of the Christian life is to get to know God more and more and more. And the more we know him, the more we know of his awesome holiness and of his glory, of his goodness, the more in awe of him we will be. And you'll find yourself living in the wisdom that will give you a blessed life. Go after that wisdom. I trust this word has been a source of strength and comfort. During this trying time, our church is bringing you these words every day, Tuesday through Saturday. Also, you can join us online for interactive live stream services throughout the day and evening on Sundays starting at 9 a.m. and then on Monday at 7 p.m. You can find the links to all the online resources to stay connected as God's family at getvictory.net. Until next time, let's stay in God's presence and peace.